You know, you really made it in life when you got the real Xbox pajama pants. Hey there ladies and gents, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog and look at this bed head. So, today is Tuesday, I think. And a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a day in the life of a computer science student. And the tricky part is I've actually already graduated. But I have a good friend who is actually down at UTD and she's at class today and I need to get a new pair of UTD socks in case you didn't know UTD has these really awesome socks. Yeah. I'll put a picture right here. So yeah, we're going to go find some socks and I'm going to show you a day in the life and I'll give you guys a tour of the university that I went to. We're going to meet up with my friend Melina. And we're probably going to do some other stuff too. I've got some startup stuff that I'm working on so you'll get to see kind of what it's like being both a computer science student and a startup engineer. So without further ado, let's get this day started. Well, hello there. Alrighty, first stop of the day. I'm actually hitting the gym. Today is chest day. I know a lot of you guys who are watching are going through some mental health stuff and getting through that recovery, but exercise is an amazing self-care routine. Actually, if you work out, they say working out 30 minutes is pretty much the same as taking an antidepressant as far as what happens up here, so exercise. So I'm gonna hit the gym really quickly and I'll be right back with you guys. Yo, know, y'all ever have that moment where you forget to take your pre-workout and instead you're just so hungry that you eat a part of the foam roller? Alrighty, workout is done. I'm just a little bit sweatier than I was a couple seconds ago when you saw this exact same frame. Um, it was interesting, like in my gym they were filming some kind of commercial or something like that, so um, on the exercise floor there was just like a camera and they were like going over it and recording this video over and over and I had half a mind to get my Ronnie Coleman on and just start yelling lightweight. Woo! Lightweight. Yeah buddy! Lightweight! And nothing but a peanut. If you've never seen Ronnie Coleman or seen any of his training videos, he does this thing where he yells and it's extremely entertaining. But now I'm all finished up and I'm going to go home, get washed up, and we will head to UTV. This, this right here, this a real heavy boy. I don't know how I made it through college without back problems. I actually probably do have back problems, but they have since been undiscovered. So one of the things I love about UTD, they've got electric vehicle charging stations, but they're usually always in use. So I'm going to put this in here. And then, whoever's the driver of this red Volt over here, maybe, just maybe, they'll see it and get my subtweet at them. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. My favorite part is in that middle part, they have, like, patios. Oh, yo, what's up? Yo, this is my friend Melina. Melina, where'd you get your hat? Forever 21. It's got to see me on it. Facts. Facts. You got that button, then you got that button. Oh. Whoa! Frijoles on the ground. There's a pile of beans. Melina. As class in JSON. She's gonna be the Twick tour though before she goes to class. Melina, what time does class start? Four o'clock. What time it is? 
and take a look and see. Nah, no dice. I was hoping somebody would plug in the charger, but I guess they didn't see that. And quite honestly, I wouldn't expect them to if it's somebody else's car. Okay, I got it out through no simple process. This was somewhat difficult to get out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that tour of UTD. Um, I love this school. I wouldn't have gone to it for three whole years if I didn't. And I didn't get to do as much of a tour as I would have liked to. Honestly, um, I just figured with everybody walking around and taking a lot of B-roll and stuff like that, I didn't know if certain people didn't want to be in the video and that sort of thing. So I didn't get to do nearly as much, but I did get to hang out with Melina and I actually went with her to one of her classes and there was a really cool guest lecturer. He was a um, a senior analyst or a security analyst and he was talking about pen testing. It was really neat, a really cool, um, really cool lecture. And so now I'm going to head back home and get some coding done before I have a late night meeting with one of my partners, my business partner. Um, but before I do the drive home and get into that, I just wanted to kind of reiterate to you guys that everything that you saw in there, all those beautiful buildings and everything like that, that can very much be a reality for you guys. And I know a lot of you are thinking about becoming computer science students or thinking about studying at a university somewhere in the United States or maybe even abroad. And the really cool thing about college is they just, there's beautiful buildings, everybody's super duper nice, they're here to learn, and it's a very unique sort of setting. And I hope that this video and seeing all the cool places that you can study and the different buildings kind of shows you or gets you inspired to work hard and to make the grades for you to get into a college later down the road. So that uh, that was kind of my purpose. I'm sorry I couldn't do a little bit more video for you guys. Again, kind of just a, a security thing. But um, yeah, now I'm going to drive back home. I'm going to get some code done and I'll see if I can get you guys in on some of that and see if anything exciting happens on the way home. Already back at home base. Thankfully, nothing too, too crazy happened on the way home. But I did get some chocolate before I came up here because chocolate makes me happy, but it does not make my teeth happy. So I'm, I'm kind of feeling that right now. Um, so, I have a meeting with my business partner at 9 o'clock, and you may be thinking to yourself, hey Andrew, you mentioned a business partner a couple different times in this video, and what gives? I don't understand. Who are you partnered with? What are you working on? That sort of thing. Well, I'm happy to say that I am actually the founder and lead developer of a software startup, and we are working on an app that is about to go into publication very, very soon. We're just doing some final touches here and there. We've actually gotten some verbal commitments from some shops and some vendors who would be interested in using our product. Uh, I don't know how much I can say right now, but I will be happy to tell you guys when we go live and we have a lot of good stuff and we know that it works everything like that because you know I want to present to you guys the best product that I possibly can so I'm not going to have you guys go try out something that doesn't work. So we're ironing out the kinks and I'll be happy to announce really really soon. But what this means is that a lot of my days are spent coding, and so I'm going to jump into some code. It is about 6 o'clock right now, and I have my meeting at 9, I'm probably going to be around 8.30, so I've got a solid two hours to code away and have some fun. So, here we go. It's really dark in here. Took two tries. That's interesting. Alrighty, friends, I've finished up coding, and I'm heading on my way to visit with my business partner and get some work done late night you know how those old hacker sessions go you just kind of get together late night sling some code and work on some stuff test some stuff and put a dent in the universe so right now i'm actually the car's not in motion i'm charging at a supercharger and waiting for my partner to meet up with me but like i said today was a great day I've got plenty done. I hope that you guys enjoyed the tour of UTD. I realized that I didn't get a chance to go look for those socks that I was looking for, but next time, that'll be part two for this vlog. I'll probably have to go back at some point and get those socks. But yeah, like I said, just to wrap things up, get inspired. I really enjoyed making this video today and I hope that it inspired you guys. You saw the school that I went to and all the amazing things that are there. And obviously my school is a little bit smaller. It's in North Texas, but there's bigger and more awesome schools out there and wherever you go it's always a great experience so get inspired work hard and you'll eventually get there and get that computer science 
program and computer science degree in time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to finish up in the normal way, and that is by me saying, always remember that you are wanted, you are loved, and you are appreciated. You have a special talent that nobody else has, and the world is waiting on you to bring it out. So muster a little courage, go out into the world, and change it. That's what the world's waiting on. You. Hey there, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate you giving me a little bit of time out of your day. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, leave a thumbs down. I learn just as much from the dislikes as I do from the likes. And if you want to continue the conversation, leave a comment down below. You can talk about just about anything from cat videos on to computer science questions or whatever is weighing on your mind. And if you want to follow me on social media, I've got links to my various social medias. I would love it if we could connect on those platforms and you can keep track of me and what I've been up to outside of the YouTube realm and possibly get a sneak peek into projects that I'm working on before they air here on YouTube. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the video again, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take it easy.